we noticed a guy walking, and I actually said to my husband, he looks sketchy. They say not to judge a book by its cover. A lot of people look sketchy and could just be out minding their own business, so I tried to give him the benefit of the doubt. But and Chelsea Miller will never doubt her gut instincts again. My full focus, of course, was on the ATM, and my husband was kind of just watching our surroundings. Miller stopped at this drive through ATM on Dixie Highway Saturday night. Her husband, seven-year-old son, and three-year-old daughter were all with her. I heard him yell, Chels, pull off, pull off. After that frantic warning from her husband, everything changed. I just kind of froze, turned. I saw the man rushing around the corner, and at this time I didn't see a weapon, so my first instinct was to start rolling the window up. But the man had a gun, and he was about to use it. As I'm rolling the window up, I saw a gun, and I saw him start to raise it to the crack of the window that hadn't been raised up yet. And that's when I like kind of leaned to my right and hit the gas. And as I was doing that, he shot in the car twice. Police say this is a picture of the gun taken from surveillance video. It was a like aqua blue gun, and I could see the man's face clearly. Investigators hope the color of the gun stands out enough so someone can identify the shooter. That may be the one tip that helps us put this guy behind bars. Miller's husband took the driver's seat when they realized she had been shot. He drove her to the hospital. I work at UofL Trauma Center, so when I see people get shot in the chest, it's usually more bad than good. You know, there's so many vital organs in there. So I didn't think I was going to make it. I was really scared the whole drive there. The man also shot at the car as it drove away. The bullet went through the trunk and hit Miller's daughter's car seat. Thankfully, the little girl wasn't hurt, and the bullet that pierced Miller's chest didn't hit any vital organs. I believe in guardian angels and I always have, and with my brother passing not long ago, I believe that he will always have my back. <laughs> And him and God, like, I think they might have had to call on everybody because it was a close one. Carolyn Callahan, WLKY News.